So in studio today, we have the gorgeous, amazing, talented media personality. She's, I, I don't even know, she's just a whole vibe <laughs> in one. Adele Onyango. Oh, wow. Karibu well, sana. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just have to commend you guys for getting mm -hmm. to work every day. You know, yeah. it's, it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Yeah. What you go through. <laughs> it's rough. It's uh, rough. It's uh, a struggle, okay. but you just get used to it. Yeah, yeah, wow, it's wow. fantastic. I'm glad I made it. Yes. Yes. We're, We're so glad happy. you made it as well. Yeah. yeah. So let's just like jump right into it because, mm -hmm. you know, for the people who are seeing you for the first time. Mm -hmm. Tell them who Adele is and how she got into, you know, where she is right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, obviously, my name is Adele Onyango, and I was on traditional radio for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I started on 1FM, mm -hmm. and then I moved to Kiss FM, mm -hmm. and then in 2019, I moved into podcasting. Uh -huh. So that's what I've been doing for the last two years mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I have a weekly podcast mm -hmm. called Legally Clueless, mm -hmm. and I also run my own um NGO-style organization yeah. called the Adelo Nyango Initiative. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. I'm yeah. like, you know, tell us about the Adelo Nyango Initiative. Yeah. Because, you know, you're all about women and also, you know, talking yeah. about women Divine who have been women, yeah. sexually abused and gone through some things which they never actually want to talk about yeah. Yeah. and giving them the voice and also, you know, the youth empowerment yeah. program mm -hmm. that you also have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, mm -hmm. it's in those two, two areas. So the Adelo Nyango Initiative works with, unfortunately, the youth and Women mm -hmm. are vulnerable communities yes, right now. That's true, yeah. So for the youth, we try and prepare them better for entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or for employment. Mm -hmm. And it's because we all know our education system yeah. fails yes, <laughs> does, in multiple does. areas. Yep. So we try and connect them to like scholarships mm -hmm. or workshops mm -hmm. or a program where they follow professionals mm -hmm. around for a couple of weeks just yeah. to get a feel of what actually happens in the field on ground. Because mm -hmm. it's very different from what you learn in class, yeah, in class right? that's true, yeah. And then for the women, we have a program called Safe 247, mm -hmm. s dealing specifically with women who have survived sexual violence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And young women as well, because yeah. as I say, the youth and women are vulnerable communities. Yes. So if you're young and, and a, a woman, woman yeah. it's double, right? That's true, that's true. So it's 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 a 14 week program mm -hmm. just to help um, survivors of sexual violence yeah. get psychosocial support to mm -hmm. help them. Um, take care of their minds a yeah. lot of times we think that's a luxury and mm. we we don't even oh, think about yeah. that so we developed that program mm -hmm. i do it in partnership with carolina for kibera mm -hmm. who are an amazing organization based in kibera and they're doing amazing work there mm -hmm. um yeah so those are the two areas that oh, we deal wow. with All yeah right. and i have to commend you on being like so brave about you know talking about your sexual abuse like story yeah. and i don't know like i i literally cannot how did you do it like mm. what made you brave enough to be like okay i'm going to talk about it and i'm going to help people because that's that's very that's very brave uh, many years of therapy yeah <laughs> Although yeah, I feel yeah. like everybody needs to get into yeah, therapy, but yeah, yeah so many true. years of therapy and, and, you know, once you tell the people who are close to you in your life, yeah. um, at the time that was my mom mm -hmm. and my sisters, mm -hmm. and with therapy you realize, I mean, and for any survivor watching this, that it's it's really not your shame to bear. Yeah. It, it's really the perpetrator's yeah, you shame to wrong. bear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So once you start doing all of that mental work, mm -hmm. I think for me then it became very easy to be able to transition into saying my story and mm -hmm. then it doesn't you realize that's not enough yeah. right um and i realized to some extent i became like the token yeah. survivor yeah. you yes. know like so people have conversations and then there's a token survivor and i was like i, I don't really don't like this <laughs> like, i don't like this yeah. more to, to, to it, solving yes. this problem yes. so um then i started thinking around designing programs that can actually be impactful oh, yeah okay wow that's yeah. and i'm like let's talk about your podcast you're yeah. doing an amazing job thank you you, know, you recently actually won you won a you tied with Joel Austin, literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like the most yes. listened to yes. podcast. Yes. What was yeah. the award? Okay, so, it. so it was actually mm. not an award per se. It was mm. based on research done by One Pulse, I believe is the organization. Mm. And so they, and that was for the year 2019, which was my first year. I hadn't, by the time that came in, I think mm -hmm. I'd been podcasting for like nine, ten months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was um, the most popular podcast mm -hmm. um um, in Kenya, mm -hmm. and so obviously, like we are very a very religious country. So yeah. <laughs> that was those podcasts, yeah. and and then there was me, which was mm -hmm. really such a good validation. Ten months yes. in to be like, okay, we're doing something People here. Yes, yes. You are not mad for like quitting your job yeah. and dying <laughs> into this world. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yes. All right. So let's take it back a little bit. So 
why radio? Like, what was the path that led you there? Did you always want mm. to do it, or did you stumble upon it? Stumble. Uh -huh. I, I feel like, does any of us ever? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are people who <laughs> do, but... <laughs> and, um, mm -hmm. I stumbled on it, uh -huh. because what happened is I was in USIU, mm -hmm. and I was doing a lot of poetry uh -huh. gigs, mm -hmm. and um, when 1FM was setting up, mm -hmm. uh, they, they called me and they were like, hey, um, would you want to come on to, to 1FM? At the time when I got the call, yeah. I thought they wanted to interview me for yeah. poetry. I was yeah. feeling like I'm a celebrity. But his name was Tim. He was mm -hmm. my first ever boss. He was the head of radio then. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, we actually want you to host a show. Do you think you can do that? I'd only... I think I've done one radio course yeah, by mistake, yeah. but I said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say yes, then figure it out while you're figure there. Figure it out you know? later. Yeah. So when I went there, I knew I did the research. Uh -huh. I knew they only played African music. So mm -hmm. I went in like my beads yeah. and everything. And I was like, yes. I'm I, ready. I know. Mm -hmm. Which Kenyan artist? Tell me. Which one? Say, say a name. <laughs> yes, I know them. Mm -hmm. um, and so I aced the interview and uh -huh. that's how I got onto drive time. So I was completely thrown into the deep end, yeah. which is like a mm -hmm. peak time show. Yeah. So that's how I got into radio. Oh, wow. It was not oh, the plan. Right. It was not <laughs> yeah. the plan, clearly. No, but well, you know, sometimes plan change. Yes. yes. And of course, um, today is International Women's Day. Yeah. So before we get to that, you did a video on this. Yeah. So guys, are we going to roll it? Okay, let's go. Out. Louder than ever before about the issues holding women back. So that every woman will know that hers is a worthy story. It means that we demand the highest levels of respect and inclusivity from our society, from our places of work, from those we do business with, from those who are doing business on our continent, and those who want to do business with us. And we've got to be proactive about it. It means that as African women, we must refuse to reduce who we are. Mm -hmm. Wow. What wow. were you talking wow. about here? You know, you yeah. said video, yeah. you were getting like chills, yeah. you know? <laughs> so well Tell said. The Thank Talk you. to us. Thank yes. you so much. Mm -hmm. um, so I was giving the keynote speech and it was, um, you know, talking about the first parts of my speech were talking a lot about period poverty because that was the nature of the event mm -hmm. that I was at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also think, especially on International Women's Day, there's mm -hmm. a theme and all yes. of these huge organizations do all of these GIFs and they yes. have hashtags yes. and whatever. And even from my own experience where I was working, mm -hmm. the women would get like flowers and um, chocolates on yes, International yes, Women's yes, Day. Yes. But we didn't have a space for mothers to nurse. Yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. We didn't have that. Uh -huh. We had pay, pay gap issues. Yes. We had safety issues yes. for women. Yes, yes. So I was like, why are you giving us chocolates? Yeah, like, fix <laughs> our problems, like, you know? There's some big issues here, yes, man. We can yeah. buy our own chocolates. Yeah. Can we focus on the real issue? And I think... Um, if we, because we are so many mm -hmm. as women, mm -hmm. if we demand that from our workplaces, yeah. those of us in business, if mm -hmm. we say, and I do this all the time, mm -hmm. if I'm going to get into a partnership with you, yes. I need to know how many women have you employed yes. in your organization? Mm -hmm. How many women are on your team? Mm -hmm. For me as well, when I'm looking to outsource certain things, yeah. I think right now there's only one person I outsource to who is a man, mm -hmm. I try and give as many women the jobs. opportunity yes. if it's production mm -hmm. jobs and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because we have to walk the talk. It's yes. not enough to be like on this one day because yeah. we don't tomorrow. We it's will just still one have day. Yeah. safety issues. Yes. We'll still have all of these things. And mm -hmm. so I, I, I think that was where I was coming from. And then I just don't think women need to reduce who they are. Yeah. You walk into a room and just be who you are 100%. Yes. That whole story of like, tone yourself down so that you can. Yeah, don't you're yeah. so yeah. loud, men know, or yes. whatever. Don't I'm have like, an opinion. That yeah. is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like, cool no thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, you know, we know you're married. You know, how's, yeah. how's you being a wife? You know, how's life on that side of the world? Yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> good. I feel like, and yeah. also you being also a woman that works. And yeah. You're putting yes. so much effort out here. Yes. Yes. So how is it like? Mm -hmm. I think marriage is a partnership. Yeah. And yeah. And, you know. and that's something my partner and I understand. really do understand. Yeah. And we try to um, preserve our individual selves mm -hmm. while still being in Together. this partnership. Yes, yes. Um, I think marriage is a rational decision, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um, if there are emotions, even better. It makes yes. it sweeter. Yes. Um, but you need to approach it 
with rationale yeah just the same way as you're building an organization mm -hmm. which is why i say it's a partnership yes, right yes. and so yeah so my partner fall is like my best friend he's yes. hilarious he was yes. while i was in traffic i was yelling like give me panya roots <laughs> <laughs> and so um yeah. it's good yeah. i just think that sometimes marriage gets a lot of bad PR yeah, especially in this industry. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. and I just think it's because you know you need to, like anything in life, you need to kind of know yourself first yes. mm -hmm. to know what what type of marriage you suits you. you. Is it yes. a monogamous marriage? Mm -hmm. Is it um, um, polyamorous? Mm -hmm. Is it is it a marriage that doesn't involve the government? Yes. Is it a marriage that doesn't ever have kids? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many different yes, ways. Yes. Like why tie yourself to something that you know you're not comfortable mm -hmm. in? Yeah. But if you know yourself, mm -hmm. then you'll be upfront with your partner. Yeah, you exactly. know, you'll be walking with like eyes open. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I think the first thing is this: you just kind of have to know yourself first. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> going to do that. No one is going to do that, that for you. For you. That's yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. So um, you said you had you had ten years in like traditional media. Yeah. And then you just up and left. Yeah. Was that like a planned decision, or mm. did you just get to a point where like you know? What? I think 10 years is enough. Like, Man. how did you? <laughs> I was tired. Oh, you were I tired. I was so tired. Okay. <laughs> I didn't like it anymore. Mm. I really didn't care about um, what was trending. Yeah. <laughs> I you didn't talk about things that mattered to me anymore. Yeah. And you know, I got in when I was 20, I left when I was 30. Yeah. So a, a lot had changed for me yeah. in my mind. And yeah. then I think also. Um, one key pillar about wealth creation is mm -hmm. ownership. Yes. And so I was like, I'm 30, I do not have dependence per mm -hmm. se. So uh, my risks are less yeah. if I jump now and start creating That'll that wealth yeah. for myself yeah. and a, a space that is mine mm -hmm. to decide I want us to talk about this and mm -hmm. I want it to go in this direction. Mm -hmm. It's been so, that's I think is the high I'm on. Like yeah. where I'm like, it's me who decides. Yeah. Yeah. Me? <laughs> what I want to talk okay. about girls? Fantastic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. um, I had just gotten tired and I was not happy. Mm -hmm. I think when you realize when you're reducing yourself yeah. into a space, it, you, you. That's you, not for you. That's yeah. not for you. You're yeah. not happy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what, okay. What advice do you have for people out there who feel like they're in the same space that you were in, mm -hmm. but I did, don't want to take that risk. No, don't. But like you know, don't have the guts yeah. to do it. Yeah, man. I think the hardest thing is just like your mm -hmm. mind and uh -huh. change your mind shift. As Africans, we've made to believe that you go mm -hmm. to school, then you get a job. They Having a job yeah. is such a huge part of our yes. definition of success mm -hmm. when it really shouldn't be. And so mm -hmm. you just have to first figure out your identity. Mm -hmm. Who are you without this job? Yes. Um, figure out obviously your finances, but mm -hmm. I. I find that money problems are very one plus one. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? The harder ones are the emotional ones of like fear of failure. Yeah. Fear of the so what am I going to do? What's what next? At yeah. the, uh, the family gathering, yeah. they'll introduce me as this is a former doctor. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> Currently <laughs> unemployed. <laughs> exactly. So you need to do the work internally first. Mm -hmm. um, and then also don't get so lost in finding what your next thing is going to be. Mm -hmm. Because especially if you're in a toxic work environment, it's very hard to have a clear mind uh -huh. to think this is what I want to do next. Yes. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to eject yourself out first. Mm -hmm. And then you can think and be like, oh, all right. I think I want to become an artist yeah, or I yeah. want to study law. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But it's, there's nothing but brightness on the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. People just yeah. need to trust themselves. Yes. Trust themselves. Yes. That yes. is it. Exactly. Yeah. But now we've come to the end of the show. Yes. I think, you know, sorry, guys, because, you know, time was limited. Know. You know, traffic <laughs> did the thing. Yes. But, you know, for, for guys to come, you know, keep up um, keep up with you and get to hear more about you. Yeah. Cause you're very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Tell us, um, where, can, where can guys find you and um, also your podcast? Yes. yes. So yes. my podcast, Legally Clueless, is on all online podcast mm -hmm. platforms mm -hmm. and it plays on trace radio as well mm -hmm. every monday wednesday and friday at 12 mm -hmm. noon mm -hmm. and um if you go to my online pages which is adelo nyango everywhere mm -hmm. <laughs> well on twitter facebook and instagram okay, i can't okay. keep up with the rest with the like rest everything else much. <laughs> and my tiktok is very dormant and nothing <laughs> serious <laughs> happens there but All if right. you go there then you'll um be updated on on the podcast i have a book coming out soon mm -hmm. and and yeah so you'll you'll be informed They'll fantastic yeah. thank you so right. much thank for you coming so much for coming thanks for yes. having me yes guys. <laughs> i hope you guys were as inspired as we were because like you know this woman i oh. think she should have the whole day for herself <laughs> international <laughs> women's day should be adults <laughs> anyway thank you so much for joining us today guys and what to attend 30 to now sana to another same time same place